Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn how to deploy a Kubernetes Chrome job with Helm and Google Cloud Build. The idea could be sound complicated, but really, it's super simple. Kubernetes Chrome job is a way to execute jobs in a specific time, in a recurrent way. Imagine that, for example, you want to delete a bucket, you want to get statistics, execute a script, or many other things. The idea is that Kubernetes will execute a job, and with this job, we will execute a pod. Helm, as many of you know, is a way to manage your Kubernetes application, defining, installing, and upgrading even the most complex Kubernetes applications. Yes, I'm reading the official web page. We are going to use Helm to deploy our applications, and in this case, to deploy our cron job. And the last one is Google Cloud Build. We have already talked about this tool in other videos and it's the CI CD solution that Google offered to be used in our pipelines. It's based on container images executed in a virtual machine inside our pool. Now, to execute our search site, we need first an application. Because as you know, at this point, we are clever. We are not going to spend time in this point. And we're going to copy a cron job spec from Kubernetes official page. We are clever people. As you can see, this is our current job spec. And what we're going to do is every 10 minutes, we are going to execute this hello from the Kubernetes cluster. Now, when we have our code, if we execute kubectl apply minus f cronjob.yaml, the job is done. Now, if we execute kubectl get cronjob, we will see our lovely cron. Now, what we can do is add some variables in our YAML file to be used in the help chart. If we open the file, as you can see, in the shadow, in the name, in the image, we are using different variables. Now, if we have a simple values.yaml file, as you can see in the screen, with the shadow and the name PC box of the image, if we execute helm install ncadev cron job, ncadev cron job, we will have our cron job installed. And now again, if we execute kubectl get cron job, our cron job is here. And now the last step, cloud build. To use cloud build, we need first a cloud build.yaml file, as you have in the screen. There is only one step where we're going to deploy our cron job. And as you can see, we're using a builder called help, where we do help install ncadev cron job, ncadev cron job. But as you can imagine, we don't have this builder called help. And this is a problem because there is no official help builder in Google. This is crazy, I know, but this is how Google is working. Then, to do the installation of this builder, we need to have a script like the one that you have now on the screen. We do a git clone of the public help image, we build the image, and we push the image in our Google Cloud repository. And now, the builder is there. The next step is simple. We are going to create a trigger, a trigger in cloud build. And this trigger is going to be executed every time that we push the code. To do that, we need to go to Google cloud build and click on create a trigger. We choose the name. We choose the repository that is going to be connected to GitHub. The branch that in this case is going to be main. And if we go down, we click on create and we have our trigger. Now, as soon as we go to our code, make the chain and push the chain with git add, git commit and git push, in our branch, the trigger will run and the cloud build will be executed. What is going to happen here in this step is that every time that we push the code, Helm is going to install the cron job that we already have. As you can see, it's super simple. So now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the like button. And really, thank you for watching.